Hey guys, so a few videos back, I asked whether or not you'd be interested in seeing like my favorite summer lip products. And I got so many comments saying, yes, please, you know, summer lips video, yes. So that's what we're doing today. And I really um, kind of focused this list on bright red orange kind of lip colors when i sat down to make a list of my favorite summer lip products this really comprised like 90 percent of the list so i thought why don't i just focus on these colors for this video and if you guys would be interested in like a nude version of this video i'd be happy to do that as well i have plenty i could talk about for sure nude lips and like bright red orange poppy lip colors are like my two favorite like lip colors especially for the summertime so we're going to be focusing on the bright red red orange orange lip colors in today's video i'm going to be doing some lip swatches live for you i do also have some arm swatches that i'll be popping up for you but let's go ahead and get started with like the lightest or most lightly pigmented uh, product that I have in this list which is the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jellies. This is in the shade Fire and I have talked about this product a lot and for a very long time. I love 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 this formula and i love this color it is straight up orange but because it's so sheer it really just gives your lips like just the lightest wash of the color so why don't i go ahead and apply some so there is fire applied and this is just the perfect like first orange lip if you are tempted by these colors, but maybe you're a little bit intimidated by the more opaque, the more highly pigmented lip products. This is a really good starting point because as you can see, you get a nice like hint of orange, but it's not like, oh my gosh, she's got orange lipstick on. So this is a very easy sort of lip product to wear and the formula is really, really comfortable. It's not sticky. It just sits really nicely on the lips. It feels really comfortable it's very moisturizing i mean all the amazing things this formula is incredible and in fact i have i think all of the shine on lip jellies and then i have all of their milky ones anyway i digress the shade fire from tower 28 definitely one of my favorite lip products for the summertime okay next up is a product that when it was first released it was limited edition i believe it is now permanent and I couldn't be happier. It is the Hermes Poppy Lip Shine. This lip product, first of all, is so stunningly beautiful. So here it is in the bullet, and I think you can probably tell that it has this subtle frosty sheen to it, but it also has like little gold micro glitters. So here is an arm swatch of it for you. And here it is on my lips. Do you see that subtle frostiness? It's so pretty. And then I hope you guys can see that you can see like the little gold bits in there. It's so, so pretty. And this shade is probably, I think out of all of the lippies I'm gonna be talking about, this is the most orange. All the other shades I'm talking about fall kind of in between red and orange. This one is like a straight up orange. But just like the Tower 28, because it's so sheer, it just gives you like a hint of that orange. It's not like, woo, it's not like really, really opaque. And another great sort of like starter color, if you're a little bit intimidated by these shades, this is wonderful. I mean, look how pretty that is. Oh my God, I love this color. And I'm so, so happy that it's not limited edition anymore. So that is the Hermes Poppy Lip Shine. Such a big fan. All right, next up. The YSL Rouge Volup Shine. I think the shade is number 12. I'm not sure. There's no name on the label and there's just a lot of numbers, but I think it's number 12. I'll leave everything listed down below in the description box um, and I will link to this one. Yeah, I think it's number 12. Anyway, the Rouge Volup Shine lip products are like uh, almost like a liquidified balm. They feel almost like oily on the lips. So here is the shade, super bright. And this reddish orange shade actually has just the slightest, slightest hint of a pink undertone. I don't even know if you guys will be able to detect it in my swatch or me showing it here in the bullet, but let me go ahead and apply it to my lips. But there is just the slightest like coolness to this particular red orange where there's just the slightest slightest hint of pink and it really kind of tones down the orange so if you don't really like that 
warmth to those red orange colors <laughs> that I'm going to be talking about. Um, if you don't like the warmth to it and you like it something just a little bit more neutral, this is a really good option. It's just as bright as the red orange, you know, poppy, those bright colors. It's just as bright as those. It's just a little bit more neutral. But the formula of the Rouge Volup Shine, like I was saying, it kind of feels like an oil and balm. It's not quite as thick as a balm. It's just a little bit slicker than that. It's a little bit thinner than that. So again, just really comfortable on the lips. And this has a little bit more pigmentation than the Hermes, than the Tower 28 gloss, but it's still definitely on the lighter side, on the more sheer side. All right, next up, the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash. This is a formula you guys know I love. I have so many colors in this formula. They have so many colors in this formula, but I really love uh, 132 Flushed. And again, it is one of those red orange colors this is probably a little bit more uh, peachy than like a fiery red orange which i definitely have some coming up um and the rouge coco flash formula it is kind of like the rouge volup shine where it's um kind of middle of the road in terms of pigmentation there's definitely some pigmentation there it's not quite as much as like a typical satin lipstick but it's more than like a tinted balm but let me go ahead and swatch this for you because the finish of this lip product is incredible so here is flushed oh my god i am in love, in love with this formula, with the finish, with this color, like everything about it. It is just a little bit thicker than the Rouge Volup Shine, the YSL, which has that kind of like thin, oily feeling. This is just a teensy bit uh, thicker. It has a little bit more substance than that. But can you see the finish of this? It's very similar to the Hermes, um, the Poppy Shine, but it's uh, maybe not quite as frosty, but it's almost like there's a highlight in the lip product but it's just it's so pretty that like really really light kind of like foiliness it's so well done it is just mm, mm, perfect all right so the rest of the lip products i'm going to be talking about have a little bit more um, opacity to them they're a little bit more pigmented so i'm going to start with the westman atelier lip suede in les rouge this is the first one that she came out with she just came out with the les nude which is incredible but this doesn't have quite as much pigmentation as the la rouge the la rouge definitely uh is bolder not just in the actual colors in there but in the level of pigmentation so let me bring your attention to this shade right here this stripe it's the second from the bottom that color is so incredible here is an arm swatch of it and it is just such a beautiful red orange. It's like right in the middle, like right in between red and orange. So I'm just gonna take a little bit here on my finger and just dab it on. So there is the Westman Atelier red orange stripe. I really tried to focus my finger in just that stripe. I think I, I think I got it. My ring finger kind of fits perfectly in those stripes. And when I just kind of tap it on and I kind of blur out the edges, it just gives my lips like this really soft velvety kind of appearance. They're not matte. Suede, I guess, is really the perfect kind of description for these, but they don't feel dry at all, which is really, really great. And these are very, very long lasting. These pretty much stay on my lips through a meal. They just feel great on the lips and are fairly long lasting, which is such a wonderful combination. My lips are starting to get a little bit stained here. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, Chantecai. Chantecai Lip Chic in Capucine. I love this formula i love this color this is i believe a limited edition color that came out with their flower power collection for summer 2021. the chantecai lip products always feel like a lip mask they are so incredibly comfortable they leave your lips feeling better than before you applied the lip product which is pretty rare when it comes to lip products but let me go ahead and apply it so good so so good so this um like in contrast to the rouge volup shine or the the rouge coco flash where i was talking about how they have kind of like a thin like slick uh the rouge volup shine having like a kind of oil and balm kind of feeling this has a thicker kind of feeling to it it is definitely more balmy like and like i said it just kind of feels like a lip mask on your lips it's so moisturizing there's so many amazing nourishing oils in here it is some of the best feeling lip products out there but the color this capucine color 
is incredible. It is pretty orange. It's still, I would say, in between red and orange, but, you know, kind of leaning towards orange a bit. And I just love it. You know, these colors, I just feel like, like light up your entire face. So that is the Chantecaille Capucine. Next, I have a Christian Louboutin uh, lipstick, and they just have some numbers on the side here. So I think, again, I think this is color 605S. I'm not sure. Again, I'll leave all the information down below in the description box. But this actually reminds me a bit of the um, YSL Rouge Volup Shine, where this has just a hint of pink in it, but this is uh, less sheer. This is more of just like kind of a straight up satin lipstick. So let me just go ahead and apply it. Okay, now that I've applied it, it definitely has like a little bit more red in it than like the Capucine or like the Poppy Lip Shine, but it doesn't have quite as much um, like pink in it as the Rouge Volup Shine. Um, it definitely reads, I think, a little bit more orange than that one. The texture of this is a little bit more similar to the Chantecaille than the other ones in that this is a little bit thicker feeling on the lips. It's a bit more balmy on the lips and it has a very similar kind of uh, pigmentation to the Chantecaille. It's just not quite as nourishing as the Chantecaille, so it's not gonna be quite as shiny on the lips. I don't know how else to put that, but yeah, it's just not quite as shiny. It's a little bit, the finish of it is a little bit more dull. Another really pretty one. As I'm sure you can tell, I have an arm swatch of all of these shades, which I will show you at the end so you can kind of compare all of them um, and they'll be in the order that I'm talking about them. Um, so you can compare because I know, you know, I'm putting on all of these lip colors and I'm sure just one after the other, they all pretty much look the same, but there are slight differences. And if you're kind of a nut about this, color family like I am, those little differences mean a lot. <laughs> All right, next up is um, a product that is actually fairly new to my collection, but the color is not new to my collection. Anyway, it's the Gucci Satin Lipstick in Agatha Orange. This is, it's, it's so good. The formula is so great, and this orange is, is like, is really orange. It is definitely way over on the red to orange scale is way over <laughs> on the orange compared to a lot of these other uh, lip products that are kind of fall in the middle. But let me go ahead and apply this. It is incredibly pigmented as well. All right, so there is Agatha Orange. And in my personal opinion, I don't think this color looks that great when my skin is kind of on the paler side. I like this color a lot more if I've like self-tanned or if I've just gotten a natural bronze or if I've just happened to bronze up my face a lot. I have a little bit of bronzer on, not too much. I love it so much. It's not gonna stop me from wearing it if I feel like I'm not quite as bronze as I would like to be. But I do think this looks better when my skin tone is a little bit warmer, a little bit more tan. But this is the Gucci scent lipstick in Agatha Orange. All right, next up is uh, one of the Hermes limited edition colors for this season. I, I think it's still around. Anyway, again, I'll link it down below if it is. This is the shade uh, number 52. It's their satin formula, Corel Aqua. It comes in this packaging here. And this color, man, oof, this color is so, so good. This is like right in between red and orange. And there's like just a hint of like a fluorescent quality to it. So I, every time I put on this lip color, I feel like my lips are glowing. Just so, so pretty. I wish this wasn't limited edition. I don't know why. Why would, why would it be limited edition? And this formula from Hermes is beautiful. It's their satin formula. It has a really nice like subtle finish to it, not too shiny, not too creamy looking, it's not oily. It just is really like a nice kind of standard satin lipstick, something I can really appreciate. And of course, I had to mention the Jimmy Choo Coral Kiss. So this packaging just always <laughs> just tickles me because it looks like a stiletto heel. And here is Coral Kiss. Oh, it's so incredible. Let me put it on. This lip color has quite a bit of orange in it. It is a little bit warmer than the Hermes. It's like in between the Agatha orange and the Hermes um, coral color. It's like in between the two and it's just beautiful. And I think you can probably see, like there's a little bit more of a shine to it. So it's a little bit uh, like creamier than the Hermes. It is such 
a wonderful formula. These Jimmy Choo lipsticks are so great. The pigmentation is unbelievable. This was like one swipe. I think you guys just saw me apply it. This is just one swipe. And the shade is really, really bright. I think this is, it's an inherent characteristic of this color, but it's not quite as like fluorescent as the Hermes. Like when I put the Hermes on, I feel like, like I turned a light bulb on. This is just really bright. This is just really bright. It's just really beautiful. And if you're not into something that's like, like a floral glow from your lips, this is probably a better option. It's just a bright color. So those are all of my favorite bright red orange lips for the summertime. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let me know down below in the comment section if you would enjoy like a nude version of this video. I think that would be really fun to do as well since I have plenty of nude colors that I've been reaching for and that I really love and yeah, would love to share that with you. So let me know down below in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.